Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back for episode 6 of our Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Now, uh, you may be wondering where the hell have you been? Uh, if you've been following along with the LP, you've been gone for a couple of days, we weren't expecting this, something along those lines. Well, my mic gave out. Um, <laughs> it actually gave out somewhere in this recording. I was able to make it work till the end of the recording and then it just did not want to work anymore and I wanted to record like 5 or 6 episodes after this one. Uh, so it really sucked. But, uh, basically I'll be doing voiceover until the point where I, um, until the point where I realized that my mic's been off and then I, I plugged it back in and it kept working for the rest of the video. I missed an item there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, I'll just be cutting as much as I can and explaining what happened, uh, in this episode, uh, to the best of my ability. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's hop into it, I guess. All right, so here we are arriving in Motostoke. Um, I pulled out my old PX21s <laughs> for this video, uh, and I'm going to be using them for the rest of uh, my recordings as well. So uh, luckily, the, the sound quality is still amazing. The reason I stopped using these was because the uh, the headphones on them gave out. Um, so I'll be listening to uh, the game audio through my computer speakers, and hopefully this mic doesn't pick them up too well. Uh, here we run into Sonya, so, uh, we're gonna go and talk to the, the girl. Uh, yeah, we made it through the wild area, exactly. It took us a whole 50-minute episode to get through it, but, <laughs> but we're here. We're in Motostoke. Um, real trainer and all. So, we, we end up going to the Pokemon Center with her. She gives us a detailed explanation on how to use the PC, I guess, um, <laughs> which is not super, uh, necessary, but... Anyway, uh, I have trouble reading this uh, this word Rotomi. I was like, what the hell? Uh, but yeah, so uh, let me give you a little rundown uh, while you guys are watching this episode uh, of um, of exactly what happened with my mic. So basically, if you guys didn't know, I did mention this in another episode, but I do have an anime podcast on another channel down the Wii U hole. And um, for the longest time, I had a really short wire leading from my mic to my PC. My mic was on a boom stand, and the wire to my PC was, like, way too short for what I was doing. Uh, and what it ended up doing was it um, it warped the port on my Yeti to the point where it wasn't uh, responding as well anymore. And I, th I thought it was the wire, so I ended up buying a longer wire. I was like, okay, it's about time I get a longer wire for this thing. And I plugged it in and everything was fine. And then recently, uh, it's been disconnecting a little bit uh, and I would just uh, fidget with the wire a little bit and it would reconnect. And I knew it was the port that was the problem, but I was like, okay, it can't be messed up that bad. Uh, but turns out it was. And as I tried to record another episode, my mic just would not stay connected. And I was like, all right, well, um, <laughs> this is uh, this is goodbye to my Blue Yeti, I guess. Um, but it actually ended up working out, I would say, for the better because this mic is a higher quality. Uh, the only thing I'm going to need now is um, a longer auxiliary cord for my, uh, my Bose headphones that I have because the audio quality on there is amazing. Uh, and I'll be able to connect it directly into my PC and listen to the audio of the game through there uh, and Because they're noise canceling and they really keep the audio well inside the cuffs uh, My PX 21s that I'm recording on right now will not be able to pick up the audio as well uh, Unfortunately, <laughs> the thing is uh, I was so pressed for uh, getting another microphone I forgot I had these and I ended up buying a newer uh, NW700 I believe it is uh, let me look on the mic. Yeah, it's an NW700, and uh, the audio quality, when just going through a simple Phantom Power XLR, uh, is shite, to say the least. Uh, it's really bad, and I was expecting way more, and the thing is, the reviews that I was watching, the people that had this mic, had them plugged in through a mixer. Uh, and a mixer really cleans your audio properly. The problem is good mixers go between $200 and $500, and currently I don't have the budget for it. So uh, I ended up only getting the Phantom Power, thinking that it would be enough, thinking that it would do the job uh, and be able to record my microphone properly uh, or clean up the audio properly, uh, and that wasn't the case. So... Now I'm stuck with, uh, a f uh, to be fair, it was only $60 with uh, the, the Phantom Power and the microphone. And one day when I do get a mixer, because I do eventually want uh, an XLR microphone, uh, like uh, an Audio-Technica probably, 
one of the good ones like that range between again 200 and 500 dollars uh when i do get that i will have the xlr cables i'll have uh, the the proper boom setup for it um with the uh with the shock mount and everything uh so at least i have that going for me and if ever these px21s give out on me like they will eventually um i'll have the the newer to to fall back on even though the audio audio quality is shit at least i'll be able to record the videos so uh, that's that right here. I'm just running around um, Talking to people at this point um, I think I end up cutting uh, or I say that I want to cut right about here I don't know because I don't have my actual mic audio in the video that I'm watching uh, as I'm trying to uh, to voice over this crap, but um, But I'll just stay with you guys, so yeah, um, that's my story from Sunday to uh, last night, which is Tuesday. Hopefully I can get this video out on Wednesday, uh, and you guys can have some Sword and Shield content. I do want to record more episodes as well, because it was, uh, as you'll see by the time we get to the end of the episode, we were just getting to the juicy part when my mic decided to crap out, which really sucks, because I wanted to keep playing the game. Um, and let me tell you something, as an avid Pokemon fan, somebody that absolutely loves Pokemon and is really liking this game so far, uh, it was extremely difficult for me to not just say screw it screw it to the LP uh, and I and just keep playing and just get through the game uh, But because I know that some people are watching because uh, here we end up getting into a, a battle uh, with the cafe master uh, Which is interesting uh, Because I know that some people are watching and enjoying the LP. I decided uh, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna like hold myself back from recording more episodes uh or just continuing the game rather and i i do want to get more episodes out so and i want to finish this lp because this is my first ever lp on this channel and i want to complete it i wanted to do an lp for ultra sun i didn't end up doing it because i needed to get the game done as quickly as possible for the gba now things are a little bit different and i really do want to play this game uh on top of that i didn't really like sun and moon sun and moon weren't really the games for me uh i didn't enjoy them um, as much as I guess other people did, uh, but for me, it's like it's almost like the generation didn't exist. Uh, for me, it was the worst one uh, of all the gens. Um, like I didn't really like the music. The music. The, see, the thing is, it was very Hawaiian themed, right? And for somebody who's never traveled to Hawaii, uh, who doesn't really know the culture too much, uh, it was it was sort of foreign for me. And yes, I guess I could learn something from it, but like it didn't um, it didn't capture my attention as much as this game because with this game. I'm looking at a country that I've been to, that I've been um, following, I guess, uh, people from for a very long time. Here we get uh, the TR for Focus Energy, completely useless. Um, but basically, I've been following people from the UK for a very long time. I've gone to the UK. Uh, I love, I love, love, love the UK. Um, and so far, this, this game is encapsulating it really well. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, we're gonna update our outfit right here. Uh, I end up looking at what's available. Don't really like any of the tops. It's gonna keep what I have. Um, look at all of these, but look at those costs. Look at <laughs> look at these prices. They're unbelievably high. I didn't want to go with jeans. These jeans are actually quite nice. I should take a look at them again. Uh, but no, I just ended up uh, I think getting socks because um, I thought they looked really good. Uh, I think right here the blue ones. The navy ones? Yeah, these. Uh, the navy plaid socks. They go with the outfit really well. So I was like, alright, well, we'll get that. We'll update our look. Um, really liking this look. But, uh, yeah. Um, everything else is way too expensive to get. And I decided not to get this bag because it's the only one I can afford. And it's actually not that nice. So, um, didn't buy the cap or anything. I wanted to save some money too. I have 4000 left. So I want to sort of hold on to that. Because uh, I don't know how much money I'm going to need in this game. Uh, and that could be very hard to come across at some point. So, I've heard uh, I've heard from friends of mine that this game gets quite difficult, uh, which I'm very happy about. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, I just end up uh, going with the socks and leaving here, and then we're gonna go to uh, the lift uh, up ahead. Uh, we're gonna leave here. We're gonna talk to some more people and figure out uh, what's going on in town. Uh, but at this point, I'm gonna cut it until we get to the lift. I do find a what is this a super potion? So um, Yeah, so we're gonna move on right here Oh 
Oh, yeah, I make a joke about <laughs> the high-tech earbuds as well, just because they're basically AirPods. Uh, <laughs> like how they put those in. Um, but yeah, these are uh, these are quite cool, I believe, because um, you can stop things from making sounds like Pokemon cries and whatnot, uh, which I think is a good inclusion. Um, I think maybe somebody like that was testing the game came across it and was like, "Yo, I'm getting really annoyed at these sounds. Can you do something about it?" <laughs> and they they just they just made these. Um, gonna get rid of all the new symbols here, but yeah, again, we'll cut till we get to the, uh, to the lift, which shouldn't be much longer. Alright, so uh, right here it stops us and Leon comes into frame with his Charizard flying in. I'm gonna have a little conversation with him. Uh, yeah, uh, he's always getting lost, so Char Charizard's showing him the way. I really do apologize again, uh, guys, for the episode being like this. Uh, also, the audio is gonna change suddenly uh, once we get back to, uh, back to where I figured out that my mic was disconnected, so... Try not to mind that too much. We're not too far from it here, but uh, yeah, piece of charcoal, sweet. Um, oh, another thing that happened mid-recording, uh, I had to cut this video in two and I was gonna just like glue it together. Uh, mid-recording, I ran out of space on my disc. I was, I was like freaking out, first the disc, then the mic, uh, and then I buy a mic and it doesn't work. Like everything just, everything was telling me, do not continue this LP, uh, horrible things will befall you. But I was just like, nope, I'm, I'm gonna keep it going. So this is where I realized that my PC had given me a notification that I had run out of space uh, for the recording. So I lost a little bit of footage too. Uh, very little though. It was just me literally going up the lift uh, and coming into the building that's right as you get up the lift. And this is it. And you'll see when we walk out of it um, where the lift is and everything. But basically we're, we're going to register for the gym challenge here. Uh, we see our good old secondary rival here coming up. Um, this guy's just walking like nobody's business. Uh, what a piece of work. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we walk up to the counter and we go to register for the gym challenge. And uh, this guy ends up being super surprised that we're both endorsed by Leon. He's like, what the hell's Leon doing this year? Um, but yeah, we, we saw Marnie in the back over there. I don't know if you noticed her, but we're going to see her again this episode uh, later on, but, um, I don't like the shape of, I just noticed I really don't like the shape of, like, the Gym Challenge logo, like, the, the three, um, swirling things, and the, uh, the Pokeball, I guess you could say, the, the red and the blue, I find it looks distorted, like, it doesn't look clean and symmetrical, but I guess that's just me, um, but yeah, um, there's a lot of instances, obviously, where I'm going to, like, uh, sorry, where I'm gonna, like, take longer on a text box, for example, probably because I was saying something in the actual voiceover, and I was talking about it or whatever, but, yeah, you guys can just read the text on screen, I'm gonna leave it, uh, for you guys to read, because I don't want to do the voiceover again, I'm gonna do the voiceover, uh, when I get to it. Here I'm trying to choose a uniform number. I think my number ends up being 21 because that's what I use for pretty much everything. Um, or 90, uh, no, 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 I go with my birth year, 93. That's what I end up doing. Uh, so our, our jersey number is going to be 93 for the playthrough, guys, uh, throughout the gym challenge. But yeah, this is... Um, I find it interesting that this is, there, there's like a registration des desk at this town, but I doubt there's one at every other town. Like, I don't think they would have put that kind of detail in because people are coming from all over the country, right? And you think about it, like, they should have probably put a registration desk at every single uh, stadium. I don't know if they'll have one. We'll see if they do. That's amazing attention to detail and props to Game Freak. Uh, already they've done such a great job with this game, so I can't really complain. Uh, also, I love how the language up top rolling up on screen looks like, uh, sort of looks like Greek lettering at times. Um, especially that part right there that's coming up to the middle. Yeah, right there. 
Uh, so I walk around and I'm like, <laughs> I end up circling and I'm like, ah, I wonder who I should talk to. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe this person here who's got a very interesting Pokemon down there. Uh, looking a bit gobsmacked by all this. He must be from some small country town. Is that it? I'm quite the same myself. So we end up talking to her. Not saying much more. She doesn't say much herself. I end up running around and talking to everybody here. These guys, uh, I like how sometimes people are just talking and when you approach them, their speech bubbles come up and you don't really have to click on them. That's really cool. Uh, and it happens a lot in this game thus far. So I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among all those elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would you? What an ass. It's po positively criminal of you wasting the time of someone as important as I am. Like, get out of here, dude. I really don't like this guy already. Like, he's, he's, he's trash. Um, but yeah, see how the speech bubbles are just there? That's, that's really cool. Like, one day they'll in implement voice acting, which will be absolutely incredible. I think, like, having voice acting, at least for the cutscenes, is just so cool. And actually hiring people, but I don't know if Game Freak's ever going to have that kind of budget. So this is the outside of the, uh, the stadium. This is right in front of the lift. Uh, if you go over to the right, there's like a giant Corviknight down there. It's really cool. Uh, but yeah, now we got to go to the inn. Got to go to the hotel where we're staying. We're going to walk over there. And uh, and this is uh, this is the hotel. But I decide, I believe, not to go in. And I want to see the rest of the town. If I'm not mistaken, that's what I end up doing. And, um, uh, yeah, uh, so he's telling me to go in, obviously, and I'm just like, oh, hell no, <laughs> I got more to go see, so I end up walking over to the left, um, and seeing that these guys don't really have much to say, uh, sometimes it's hard, like, to, to angle who you want to talk to if they're really close to each other, uh, there's a nice little Lapras right there, um, oh, Mincino, thank you so much. Really likes to play in the water and likes the sound of whistling. Likes to play in the water and likes the sound of whistling. So wherever there's water and I can whistle, that's probably where I'm going to find his Mincino. That's interesting. Um, warp is its cry. So we're going to have to try to pay attention to that. Uh, I'm going to try to get a, uh, an, a long auxiliary wire to me as quickly as possible so that I can plug in my headphones and actually listen to this game properly uh, because I'm going to miss out on a lot of the soundtrack, a lot of the cries, a lot of the uh, the animations, uh, like the, the sound of the moves going off, uh, for example. Also, this town has two Pokemon centers. When's the last time we saw two Pokemon centers? Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed that as well. In the top right of the screen, there was a now saving as I walked into the Pokemon Center. So autosave is on. I heard a lot of people have tr had trouble with autosave, uh, but I haven't had any issues. And apparently, a lot of the people that did had a hacked switches. So I don't think it's a it's a big deal. I don't know why I talked to that guy again either because I know what he does already. Um, right here, um, all the same stuff. So I was like, all right, whatever. But then I get to this guy, and it turns out this guy is selling TMs. I was like, damn, uh, he has Protect, which I really wanted, but it's too expensive for me right now, so I was like, ah, well, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to get that later, but Protect is gonna be a really, really good move in this game, because, uh, with Dynamaxing, um, Dynamax moves, yes, they go through Protect, but being able to stall the final turn of a Dynamax is super important, I feel, um, Right here, I do notice that there is a Pokeball over to the right, and I'm going to go and get it. I can't remember what it is. I don't think it's anything too impressive, uh, but I just talked to a few more people here just to make sure I'm not missing out on anything, potentially. And then uh, I noticed this item right here, which ends up being a Pokedoll, which is super important, apparently, in this game, especially for the wild area, for getting away from, like, really strong Pokemon. Uh, Silk Scarf is interesting. I end up opening my uh, menu here just to notice that I actually have nothing that can benefit from Silk Scarf. Um, because I don't have a normal type, everything has a, uh, has a pretty, uh, I have diverse typing across my team, which is really good, I feel, um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna scurry on down here, and, um, uh, I'm really excited to get the choice items, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, because I have a certain Pokemon on my team that's really gonna benefit from that, I feel. 
But yeah, uh, just walking around, talking to everybody that I can. That looks like the Olympic rings on the floor. There's a why not right there, so Wobbuffet's Fett's in the game. <laughs> as we as we go as we traverse this game, we find out more and more what's in it and what's not. So, yep, Lee card, uh-huh. Gonna, gonna scurry on down here. And here I notice that this is the station. So this is where we're gonna have to probably go after we um, complete the gym. So I'm gonna walk in here. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the, everybody that I can as usual. I'm gonna walk in here and walk around for a little bit. And I talk to everybody, especially at the counters. And if you guys notice over there at the back right, I hope they have this in every station, but there's a very, very uh, good item that you can get from uh, those things in the back right. I won't say what they are, because uh, you'll see when we get to them. I actually have a little bit of a freak out moment when I notice them, because it's really early in the game to get this. Uh, but they're really good items, and they're really cheap. So, walk over here to these. I can actually go to uh, the other stations that I've been to already, which is really cool. Uh, so I can go back home at any time from here. And here, this is a vending machine. And this is really good because those soda pops for 300 heal you for 50. Super potions sell for 700 and they heal you for 60. So it's super good to have those soda pops. Right now I'm buying uh, fresh water because those heal you 30. And at the level that I'm at, um, they're pretty good to have. So I end up buying a few of those. Uh, and then I look at the amount that they heal you for. Uh, I thought it was a little bit higher than 30. I thought it was 40. And I thought that uh, the soda pops were 60, but I was wrong. It's 30, 50, and I can't remember how much the lemonades are. But uh, I think they might be 80, uh, actually. But yeah, I go into my bag here, and I look at the at the amount the fresh waters give you. I see that it's 30, so I go back to go get the soda pops. So I was like, oh, okay, so I guess soda pops are actually 50. And I open my menu to confirm it as well once I buy one. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a great item to have. It's going to be good for the gym challenge for sure. I love how I'm calling it the gym challenge because that's what they, they've they like dubbed it as in this game. And they put a huge emphasis on it. Before we just call them the gyms, but I'm, I'm calling it the gym challenge. Um, but yeah, so these are, these are 50. Uh, I only end up picking up one because I feel like the fresh waters are going to be enough. And this right here, uh, we're going to cut back here, uh, is where I figure out that uh, I can speak again, so here we go. Alright guys, um, <laughs> I just discovered that my mic was off for a pretty big portion of um, the last, what, like three, four minutes probably? Maybe a little bit more, but anyway, we're going to head back over to the inn now, uh, now that my mic is back, thank goodness. Let's go see what's going on over here, alright. And we are back. Boom. All right. Oh, it's Sonya. What is that statue? I see a sword and a shield, so it's likely pretty relevant. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonya. What are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering weald. What, the wolves? That we didn't tell you were wolves? Yeah. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're already here anyway. Here it is. What's this then? Oh, listen to this music. Oh, this is beautiful. Ooh. Sorry, I just had to listen to it for a bit. Oh, that's so nice with the flute and everything. It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Gala region. It could run. I could run through the legend right quickly, right quick if you fancy. You know what? Let's just get all the details. Long ago, great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. Whoa. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon. Oh boy. But they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and shield. Damn. Okay. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had, but what this black storm is supposed and what this black storm is supposed to be uh, is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it bottled out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still, huh, I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty of research, though, Sonya. Black storms and swords and shields and all. Will you be all right, Sonya? Of course I will. I'll muddle through somehow, don't worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? You should check in. Probably so. 
And we'll look out for you too, Sonya. If we hear anything about a hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Perfect. By the way, look who's here. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Uh, can I talk to the guy at the desk? No, because these imbeciles are blocking my way. All right, let's talk to him. Uh, Team Yell is here to help after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. We get to battle them? All right, let's go. All right, so. Didn't we tell you, Meg? You get in our way and you're in for a battle. That's Team Yell's... That Team Yell's all about helping. Helping one, uh, one very special trainer with the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And you're going to help us make some noise. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's beat this guy. What does he got? Zigzagoon. Oh, Galarian Zig. Yeah, okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we can double kick the hell out of this thing. It's level nine. Let's go. A boom. Wow, just died <laughs> in one hit. Damn. <laughs> All right. Get some nice EXP there. Oh. We're almost at level 15. Let's go. Do we have to take on all four? Oh, no. <laughs> Please, no. Oi, give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would you? All right. Who's you? I got you covered. All right. Got to take on all four. Oh, she's holding up a poster of her. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes. This morning. Come on, Simon. I know you can do it. All right. Let's double kick this thing. He's gonna quick attack. All right, get that double kick. Should die. It's a dark type. Yep. There's one. There's two. Most convenient move to have on this thing, honestly. It's <laughs> able to beat like pretty much everything, except like water types, obviously. But that's why we have a yamper. Nice herb down there. Woo! All right. The level sweet. All right. Bring on the next one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, the swanky, sophisticated Aaron here had me off my game. Couldn't keep my cool. Oh, it's y'all, y'all are country folk. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss after what's going on, sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me. Don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. Oh, okay. Oh wait. Uh, here I'll even hop up. Oh, we're double battling. Yo, let's go. <laughs> two on two. Hell yeah. I already hear my victory coming. Okay, yeah, right. Okay. You're about to get destroyed, bro. Yo, is Hop gonna use Grookey? Please use Grookey. Nick it and Zigzag. Okay, so the same thing we just saw. Ah, oh, Wooloo, really? <laughs> really, Hop? Alright. Whatever. Uh, we'll just double kick the Nick it. It's gonna be the most annoying because it's got, yeah, that quick attack. So. Oh, crit. Alright. Let's go. Double kick this thing's fight. Boom. Dead. Alright. Then uh, leave it up to hop. Alright. Oh, something grew to level 14. Didn't even see what it was. Defense curl. You're just gonna protect yourself? <laughs> really? You're not even gonna help me this game? Snarl. Alright, well this hits everybody. Special attack don't matter though. Nice. Okay, let's go. Double kick. Did I hit the right slot? Okay, thank god. <laughs> I thought maybe I had attacked Wulu accidentally. Yeah, we got a crit on that zigzag. It definitely didn't matter. Alright, what level are we up to here? We're still at 15. We're about halfway to 16. I think I might actually go and evolve um, Score Bunny Simon before... We actually get to the... Oh, well, no, we're probably going to face off against some trainers in the gym uh, before taking on the gym leader, so... Yeah. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. Oh. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? N nothing. We was just... I know you're all terribly curious about the other gym challenges, but you got to show a bit of restraint. Aw, thanks. I thought she was going to be, like, hella mean. Sorry about them, they're just a bunch of fans. A bunch of my fans call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Alright. Come on, you lot, back home with you now. 
Hey, thanks. Thanks for saving us, girl. I mean, we saved ourselves, but thanks for saving us anyway. I'm just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that they tend to get a bit shirty with other uh, gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too. Team Yell was it. Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. Oh, that smile. Alright. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I guess we have to check in. Let's do that first. So one of the Pokemon trainers enter yes. Yes, young Miss Aster. I see that the League has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligan hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. So do we actually, like, go to sleep? And then end up back in the lobby or something? That's, not, that's what it sounds like. Alright. The next morning, yeah. Morning. So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Aster. I'll beat you to the Moto Stoke Stadium. Oh, we're racing there? Alright, well, I'm going to let you win, Hop, and I'm going to save the game here. We're going to end this episode here, guys. Thanks for uh, enduring with the little bit of uh, technical difficulties that we had. Uh, this, this episode's going to have been a bitch to, uh, to edit, but... Uh, thank you all for watching as usual. Make sure to hit that like button down below if you did enjoy. Uh, make sure to comment your thoughts. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel or otherwise. Uh, hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss a single episode. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Ciao.